Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a very random uh, impromptu video and I wanted to just throw this out uh, out of the blue. My friend Strandy42 on Instagram, I've been hanging out with him a lot. Great guy and he asked how I organize my bricks. This is something I've wanted to show you for a long time. I thought I may as well take the opportunity uh, as I'm going to show Strandy anyway. Maybe I'll do a more detailed version of this in the future and let me know if you want to see that. But this is just going to be a random showcase of how I organize my bricks. Which was never like this. <laughs> Usually I would just organize them into big boxes. Oh, you can see a little action click scarab hanging out there and an energy sword, very nice. Let's oh, let's have a look at that one. Wow, signed by Frankie O'Connor and loads of other people at the uh, Halo 5 Guardians launch party. That's a beautiful thing. Right, um, anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, th there's a lot of good stuff up here. I really do need to show you uh, just how much cool collectibles. I mean, there's even like Halo Reach armors there and uh, like life size. There's some, some crazy stuff. Anyway, uh, I never used to organize my bricks well. I always used to have them in just in big buckets, actually just in like buckets like this one. But I, uh, during lockdown, Peggy, my uh, ex-girlfriend, myself, my parents, we had nothing to do. So we decided to just organize all my bricks, which was like, an insane task at the time. When I come to think about it, it was like a week's work. It was so worth it in the end, but man, everyone worked really hard on that. And the result was something really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna show you this today. I hope you enjoy. Let's check it out. Here we are. Absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, lots of different kinds of boxes. We've organized them uh, mainly due to like how many of a certain one there are. It depends on how big of a box they get, if that makes sense. So first one here, just got colors, desert pieces, blue, red, and brown, because really there's not that many of those and it's good to just keep them together. Particularly, oh, and their base plates. Particularly if you want to like, if you get a scorpion and it's missing some pieces, you just know it's all gonna be in there. Same with the prowler. That's for like the blue falcon and rocket hog. They're for like the red hornet. And then UNSC supplies, drop pods, motorcycles, turrets, all sorts of really good stuff. A lot of crates, a lot of ammunition crates. Here's where it gets really nice. All these pictures were drawn by Peggy and they just perfectly illustrate what's inside each one. We got all of our smooth pieces, all of these angled two by twos, all the tiny little one, like these are the ones that just get lost all the time. So it's really nice to keep them all together. And you don't really need to organize them any further than that. You can always just pour it out and find what you need. Some angled, uh, like 90 degree angle pieces, and then a lot more slopes. Yeah, the slopes are like either two by two or one by two. Really nice. Okay, then we got one by twos here. All sorts of different ones with different stud accessories, either flat ones or ones that adapt to other pieces. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sometimes they fall out. One by fours, some flats, one by threes and one by four flats, two by twos and three by twos. You just gotta keep organized, especially when I buy secondhand lots on eBay. The speed that I can just find a piece that I'm missing to make sure that it's 100% complete when I sell it to someone is legendary. Colored. Oh, and also legendary and also super important. <laughs> uh, long two by whatever, lots of them. Long flat two by twos and two by threes, then loads of structural pieces, staircases, tower columns, anything like that. Angled, a lot from like the short sword and different pelicans, wheels, and anything to do with warthogs or mongooses or really any uh, wheeled vehicle. Translucent, transparent bricks, large base plates, and boulders. That one can barely open. Just loads of different boulders from like dragon sets and all that kind of stuff. Two by four flats, long flats, two by four black, and two by four multicolored. Really nice illustrations again there. Just makes it so easy to find the pieces you need. Then if we take this down, whoa, each one of these has whatever small pieces you might need. Any like niche pieces, because you can see all of this is like very standardized, like things that you find in every set. These are way more specific. And again, like, look at them. They're both from the Prowler. So that means I got two spare Prowlers in all of these spare pieces somewhere. Just makes everything so easy. You don't want to be rummaging through thousands and thousands of pieces to find one little niche, tiny accessory to clip onto your Pelican. You know, you need everything just accessible at all times. Then these larger ones house an assortment of different pieces, lots of rods and smoothed off angular, like they, they all go with the short sword. I, I swear I got so many short swords destroyed and in pieces amongst this collection. And the last one, 
a load of like little studs and angular pieces. Just makes up my entire collection, really. These are all my spare pieces. Meticulously organized. It took about a week during lockdown. And <laughs> definitely, I would have never done this if not for lockdown. So that's one thing I can thank for that uh, crazy six months. But it really has sped up. I mean, it's really just enabled me to secondhand sell stuff because I can buy stuff off Facebook Marketplace. Doesn't really matter what condition it is in because I'll be able to find the pieces. Like, for example, uh, a Phantom I bought the other day was missing the entire back left wing. So I just got the instruction manual, found all the pieces and built an entire left back wing and then was able to sell it as 100% complete. The last boxes I have, this massive one is just UNSC green and a base plate. When I'm building things like pelicans and elephants and when I'm building things like my Oni bridge diorama, I just want all my green in one place. So that's all just green. There's no point sorting it. Cause also if I sorted all that green, most of these boxes wouldn't be able to hold all of the pieces plus all the green ones. Cause I have so much green. And the same goes for underneath this box. This is all covenant purple. And I'm sure this makes people uh, a little jealous. Everybody's always posting online saying they want more covenant purple. And this is just all you ever need. There's so many AA guns in here. A couple of phantoms, locusts, and space banshees, and all sorts of different stuff. And in here, uh, more specific shades of purple than just uh, Covenant purple. Yeah, I got a lot of pieces, guys. I don't know. I've been collecting this stuff for 13 years. <laughs> And any time uh, stuff, you know, I made a lot of customs, I made a lot of like watch job repairs and stuff. So a lot of sets have ended up uh, being shrapnel. There's a recurring joke in my family that if I was able to have the time, I could sort through all this and build another elephant, build another pelican, build another phantom. But uh, that's never gonna happen because I just would never have the time. But I am gonna sort through this one day and build up some mongooses and things like prowlers and scorpions because I know it's all there. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little preview of the world of Simon's Attic. Also, maybe I need to show off some more stuff in the future because there's some really crazy stuff up here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's for another day. All right, shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the Plasma Pistol is signing off. <laughs>